Thank you, Africa, because because that's the constituency for which we got noticed in the first place. And the message from Berna, I believe, would be that every black person should please remember that you were Africans before you became anything else. Thank you. Welcome to the channel that reps the motherland. Subscribe if you're a pal. That's a pan-African lifestyler. Compared to way back, I think a lot of people are realizing that you need to come back home. And especially in these times, it's been um, uh, a bit more. And um, yes, so people just had a perception from way back. People just thought it was a whole country, you know. And the perception changed over, over time. And people got to realize this is one of the most beautiful places you could ever go. And that made black people have a sense of pride and feeling like we have, we have a home to go to. The main problem, the biggest problem that I think we're suffering from is that we do, not, we do not love ourselves enough. I feel like as Africans as a whole, we don't love ourselves enough. I think a part of it is PTSD as well. It's PTSD from, of course, you know, what we faced in, in, in the past historically. A lot of it is PTSD, so we haven't fully found who we are. And that's why some of our biggest issues are things that we took from the Europeans. Religion, <laughs> you know, just the way of life, just the Western. Uh, 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 now, in most African countries, Nigeria, of course, being, being top of that list, in most African countries, everything that is being consumed, everything that is being used, used is not produced in the country. We are importing. Like, naturally, your pockets will feel it. And that's why economy keeps going down, keeps, we need to believe in who we are, but we don't, it's a mindset, but we have not tapped out of it. We haven't, that's why we don't believe, that's why I said we don't love ourselves now for, for black people all around the world. Even in the United States, black lives matter. You know, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. And, you know, because those people are still continuously looking down on us. But once we start to love ourselves and believe in ourselves, other people will see the good in you now. I know we're treating each other good. Mm. How do you expect somebody that is an outsider to treat us good? If I had some magical power, mm. <laughs> I would make everybody immediately tap out of that mindset. Just stop believing in who we are. Start. And that ideology, mm. pan-Africanism. Pan-Africanism. If we all subscribe to this ideology, to let everybody just realize that, come, we can't do, we are, we are the most intelligent, but the, but the strongest the physically. Chosen one. We are the chosen ones. The chosen but why one. can't we just see that? Afri Africa can definitely unite. There's so much beauty in Africa. You know, there's so much richness, so much wealth in Africa. And back to the point again, if everybody taps into this mentality, <laughs> like I said, it's called pan-Africanism. So once I believe in us, what we stand for, of course I will love you more. Thank you. Naturally, I will love you more. And that's one Africa, that's unity. My message for young Africans is we need to wake up. Thank you. We need to know who we are. We need to love ourselves. Black is amazing. Black is beautiful. Black is strong, African is intelligent, African is innovative, African is rich, African is wealthy. You need to love yourselves, you need to believe in who you are and the sky is our starting point. I'm very happy to be back in Nigeria. Um, actually, I've gotten to see more of it than I did last time and it's a great energy. It's all the things you hear outside is not true at all. It's, um, it's a very positive, fast-growing country and loves fashion, I've noticed. I mean, I've been watching, everyone has their own unique way of putting their things together, which is great. I came here for a rise and I came here for the music. I like this country, I think I will definitely want to come back. It's really cool. I think, I think uh, you know, the black culture longs for that type of connection and culture, you know, and I actually did this thing called uh, 23andMe and um, it says that I'm, uh, my bloodline is 60% Sub-Saharan African. You know what I mean? So it's like a, you know. That's down here. Yeah. I'm back at home. You did.
<laughs> I try to express to people, you know, without getting too political, it's like, you know, it's a lot, it's, it's a lot of racial issues going on back home, you know, and a lot of the black people don't feel like we have at home. We don't have a culture like that, you know, we don't have, you know, it's like we were told that, you know, y'all from Africa, you know what I'm saying? But no one has really ever really came down here and really seen the culture, you know, let everybody know like, yo, this is our home. You know, this is a place that you can come. This is a place that they will embrace you and you can do whatever you want to do here. Thanks for tuning in. Share your thoughts by commenting and keep repping the motherland. My message for young Africans is we need to wake up. Thank you. We need to know who we are. We need to love ourselves. Black is amazing. Black is beautiful. Black is strong. African is intelligent. African is innovative. African is rich. African is wealthy. You need to love yourselves. You need to believe in who you are. And the sky is our starting point.